Yo, 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 what is up guys, Mr. Panelons here with Upper Omnia and in today's video we are going to be taking a quick look at Lael and we're going to be talking about uh, chase mechanics. Uh, we do have Lael, his synergy boost for the Kane event, so I feel like the best opportunity to do so, right? Uh, we did talk about Cecil in uh, one of the older videos, so you can check that one out, but this one is going to be about Lael. And it's going to be about uh, how chase mechanics work or in specific. I don't think we, we talked about that on, on the Cecil one, but we're going to talk about it on this one. So how exactly does the chase work and um, a little bit about Lael. So Lael, uh, he has the 15 CP, doesn't have the 35 CP yet. His 35 CP will make him really, really strong. So uh, have to keep an eye out for that should come out pretty soon it's gonna be like uh, I don't know a few months yeah I guess maybe maybe like three months but it's gonna come all right uh, so get ready for his 35 CP so I do have his 15 CP here Tidus Phantom you get the field burst boost you get the force hit rate plus as well as the duration you get the duration increase from five turns to ten turns which that's a lot of turns plus the hit rate uh, you go from like a low hit rate to a fair hit rate so this is actually really really good for what Lael needs to do also the the boost in damage pretty nice as well i also has also have his goggles and uh, what does he get from the goggles he gets oh he gets a lot of hp okay it's pretty good pretty good so we got the field burst gets up to six uses of that and as you can see it's low chance for five turns but with the 15 Passive there, it goes to fair chance, 10 turns, and it makes it easier to knock back enemies. So, what does that mean? Let's see. Now, we do have a couple of posts from Reddit, uh, some real, um, um, some real uh, game uh, professionals, game uh, scientists. I don't know, however you want to call them, but they're they're amazing. They're doing all these calculations for us. So shout out first off to Slashman177 from the uh, yeah from the Reddit post right here. Uh, I'm gonna be putting these Reddit post or these the links for the Reddit post so you can check them out yourself because I'm not gonna go through all the stuff that there is in here because there's there's a lot of stuff so you might wanna check it out yourself. And also shout out to Family Win as well. He chimed in with more on Lael and stuff so. Uh, let me see the Lael. Okay, so, uh, so Lael, uh, he is released with the chapter 7, so if you don't have him yet, you can unlock him in chapter 7. And his gimmicks are all about the chase mechanics. And now the field burst, right? So, um, goes on to explain the following. So, uh, the the force debuff what uh, what it does specifically it halves the chase HP value of the enemy so every enemy has a chase HP so I guess we should talk about the the chase mechanic first because that would make would make more sense right but oh man and the energy gain get a higher chance of knockback just to round up the abilities there but okay so chase mechanic. How does it work? So every enemy has a chase HP value and we have some examples here. Uh, Cactors, bats, they have 8 chase HP, uh, normal mobs 10, mini bosses such as Garuda, Zoo and Iron Giant 20. And uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna check it out with the Iron Giant. There's an Iron Giant with the uh, level 40 co-op. 20 chase HP, we're gonna see if we can demonstrate. Uh, mini boss Adam and Twas 25 enemy characters such as Cypher 30 bosses 40 So uh, you can definitely use this to your advantage when you are uh, uh, Fighting really difficult bosses you can try and calculate the chase HP and maximize the damage you can do with uh, with chases And then you also have chapter 9 boss 50 okay, so there's some bosses with a lot of chase HP. Okay, so how do you reach those values? So a normal brave attack, an HP attack, or a damaging skill deals three chase HP. But 
uh, there is a minus one penalty at the end of every single turn in the game including your targets as well so you deal three with every attack but uh, you they regain one every turn so it's three minus one per attack basically you deal the three then you pass the turn and they regain one so you can deal uh, two with an attack basically and also in the case of non-damaging skills you don't get the plus three so uh, the the enemy will just regen that uh, one chase hp so you gotta you gotta count that in as well okay they also have an example here Tifa shadow and yang of how it works you can read through that um okay Cloud and Cecil, they do have Finishing Touch and Valiant Blow, which allows them to uh, in, to instantly get that chase attack and reset the chase HP as well. And then uh, we go down to Leo. So here we go. So once again, Chapter 7, you unlock Leo. Uh, you got the Field Burst right here, which has that chase HP. So if a boss has 40 chase HP, you use the force on him and it will half it down to 20 but there is a catch and let me see real quick here so it has the boss hp or chase hp but it also has the amount of chase hp you dealt so if you have dealt four chase chase hp already it will have that down to two hp so if you were at four out of 40 it will go down to 2 out of 20 if that makes sense in terms of how many or how much chase HP you have accumulated and it always rounds down so if it's uh, if you have like 2.5 it will round down to 2 so you gotta keep that in mind as well and then for the energy gain so here's the the thing about the energy gain so it says you have a higher chance of knockback what does that mean it means that uh, this deals 12 chase p or 12 chase hp instead of the regular three chase hp so it's uh, it deals four times the amount of the normal chase hp basically and uh, if you get the 35 cp so in the future whenever we get the 35 cp this will actually increase even more and it will deal 18 chase hp so that would be six times the normal chase hp so that is uh, pretty much how it works in simple terms and uh, also there are some uh, GP spoilers and we're not going to talk about uh, these ones but you can check them out there are some interesting characters that are going to be coming along uh, you can read uh, about them uh, but there's also the Pandemona sound which you do have in global so the interesting part about Pandemona as you may know or pandemonium right there you do get the extra damage and HP during the chain attack which is nice but you also get the increased knockback during the summer right so what does that mean and uh, we got the explanation right here so when summoning pandemona it doubles the amount of chase HP you deal and that includes Lael's energy gain as well so uh, con in conclusion normal brave attacks will deal six instead of 3 chase HP while energy gain will deal either 24 or 36 chase HP if you have the 35 CP so that almost guarantees the launch basically it's, it's pretty crazy okay so now that we know all of that uh, we also have a little bit more on Lael Winter Spire hey how's it going hello hello welcome to this we are we are currently talking a little bit about Lael and the chase mechanics so again that was from a user slash man 177 we also have user family win uh, chiming in here with more uh, knowledge about Lael's knockback mechanic and we have the uh, additional uh, uh, percentages for his skill so field burst has a 180% uh, single magical brave damage with the 15 CP whereas energy gain it has 80% uh, single magical brave plus HP but with the 35 CP goes up to 160% so once you get 
the 35 CP he will deal double the amount of damage he currently does. Okay, let's see if there's anything else uh, that we need here. It's like we are good. So let's try and see if we can demonstrate here real quick. Uh, we can go into the co-op here. The Behemoth Encounter and we have an Iron Giant right off the bat. Okay, let's go in solo. I don't know, idle battle. Okay, so the Iron Giant apparently has 20 chase HP, right? So we can deal 3 chase HP with our Brave attack, with our HP attack, or pretty much with any of our skills. But every turn, he will regain 1 chase HP, right? So we can deal 2 per turn, essentially. So, let's see what happens. So there's 2, there's 4. Uh, we do have Lael here. Uh, actually, let's do energy gain, right? So energy gain should be uh, 12. So we're at 4. Uh, this is gonna be 12, but then he regains 1. So we're up to like 15 right now. 15, that's gonna be 17 right there. Uh, that's gonna be 16, because it was his turn, right? So hopefully we should have it down on the next turn, right? Because this is gonna be 18. And there we go, see? So we have 18 out of 20, he's at 2 chase HP and we can deal 3 with any of our skills, so that guarantees the launch. So there you go guys, that is pretty much the gist of it. Let's get the chase here. So with that knowledge, you can try and maximize the damage potential with your chases. Now normally... Uh, you probably don't need to, to keep track, but uh, in some of those more challenging uh, fights, you could uh, use this to your advantage. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you enjoy the chase mechanic? Are you are you excited to to implement this strategy more into your playstyle? Uh, are you gonna play more of these chase characters such as Lael, Cloud, and Cecil? Let me know in the comments below. Now let me know if you have any question or uh, you have um, more advice, if you have more knowledge to offer, will definitely help us out. But anyway guys, that is it for this video. I shall see you in the next one. Have a good one and take care.